welcome back to the channel. Today the road takes us to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? It's because we are at the home of the Mothman. Today we'll be looking at the Mothman statue. We'll be looking at the world's only Mothman museum. We're going to go out to the backwoods and try to find any remnants of the old TNT factory, the munitions uh, factory, where the first sightings took place. So let's go. Again, thanks for being here. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, give us a comment where else you'd like us to go. Have you been here? What do you think? What do you think the Mothman was? Was it a bird? Was it a Mothman? Was it an alien? Were the men in black here? Men in black. Right up there. Watching me. Alright. Let's check it out. Here's the iconic Mothman statue located in downtown Point Pleasant. On a chilly night, fall, November 1966, two young couples drove to the Tennessee TNT area north of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and they realized they were not alone. What they saw that night has evolved into one of the great mysteries of all time, hence the Mothman legacy begins. It's grown into a phenomenon known all over the world by millions of curious people asking questions. What really happened? What do these people see? Has it been seen since? The Mothman. Let's take a look around town. Uh, I, I am here uh, on New Year's Eve. Where else would I spend it? Uh, check out this little cute downtown area. Not a lot going on. Right up this road here, I'll see in a minute, is the bridge. The replacement bridge. Uh, if you don't know the story, uh, 1960s, uh, November 1966, uh, there started being sightings of a strange creature, a Mothman. And then in December, December 15th, uh, the bridge that crosses the Ohio River into Ohio collapsed, killing I believe 45 people. Two of the bodies were never found. And people started to relate the sightings of the Mothman creature to the bridge. It's a cute little town. It is 44 degrees. Maybe that's why there's not a lot of people out here. So I'm going to find a cup of coffee, but it doesn't look good. <coughs> that is cool. I love finding old murals, old signs. There's a bridge out there. That is not the new bridge. This is a cute little downtown area. I see the old state movie theater. Doesn't look like it's open anymore. People out sweeping out those little areas.
Point Pleasant is at the convergence of two rivers, the, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, the Kiwana River and the Ohio River. Let's go see which river this is. So I believe that is Ohio across the way. And that's the new Silver Memorial Bridge. Not exactly sure where the old bridge was. A railroad bridge here. So West Virginia, Ohio. Historical Point Pleasant, scene of the first battle of the American Revolution. October 10th, 1774, site of Washington's camp, 1770, site of Fort Randolph, 1776. There's history everywhere you go. So these are Christmas trees, I guess different organizations and groups in the city. Put them up. <clears throat> And then this is kind of, kind of uh, sad, kind of unique. We have a COVID memorial bench for everybody lost to COVID. We have a whole memorial here to people that lost to COVID. It's pretty cool. I mean, not that we lost people to COVID, but you know, I'll shut up now. Blue Star Memorial, tribute to Elm Forces. Mothman Museum, this way. Is that the Mothman? No. That's the Grinch. The border graves. Hmm. All right, we just had some great Mexican food at Rio Bravo number two. Very good. I noticed one thing. Uh, we've had Mexican food here in West Virginia and in Tennessee and Kentucky. I'm a fan, what can I say? They put cheese sauce on their burritos, which is different. It's good. I like it. Well, now that we've eaten, let's walk down, go to the only Mothman Museum in the world. <clears throat> so I just saw this. They're going to be having a Mothman Manor Airbnb coming sometime this year. They're also going to be having a Mothman Escape Room coming. I've been through a lot of these small towns and a lot of them are empty. This one seems to be doing pretty well. Most of the shops are shops. They're open. All right, so here we go. The Mothman Museum is open every day from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. It costs $4.99 to get in. We have our cars here. Well, let's go check it out.
We'll go try to find the TNT relics after this. Supposedly, there's a bunch of these still out there. So I'm trying to find one. These are handwritten accounts. That's impressive that they have these actually the actual handwritten accounts from the eyewitnesses back in nineteen sixty six. Ooh. I found it. Men in the lack. These are original giraffes of the original Mothman Prophecies book, then titled UFOs and their bridge disaster. That's interesting. Project Blue Book. So John Keel, the author of Mothman Prophecies, wrote uh, to John F. Kennedy about UFOs and aliens. And Kennedy says in this letter, yeah, I, there's other people out there. We're not alone in the universe, but are the UFOs with aliens in them? Probably not. But Kennedy actually responded. That's cool. So yeah, in the 40s, they made TNT for the war. And then by the 60s, they were already abandoned. And the kids would go out there and do what teenagers do at night and that's where the first sightings of the Mothman was. We'll go out after this and try to find, they say there's one uh, TNT dome left. We'll go try to find it after this. Oh, actual newspaper article. Here he 
Gila. That's the eyewitness drawing of what they saw. This is an amazing collection. I actually want to go back and watch the movie again. Speaking of the movie, here's a bunch of stuff from the movie. Blanket that came in contact with Richard Gere and Deborah Messing. Came in contact during the filming. Paint carried by Will Patton. Laura Linney's police uniform. Sketches from the movie, props from the movie, telephone used by Richard Gere to talk to Ingrid Holmes, watch one by Richard Gere. The Moth, the Mason County Mothman. There's an actual piece of the bridge. So I guess somebody kept calling, saying they were injured coal, and like an informant. It's in the movie. I don't really remember that part. Uh, he never came forward who he was, but these are the actual audio tapes. This is pretty cool. Uh, the sketch artist who interviewed the students back in the 60s made this painting. It's supposed to be very accurate according to the witnesses. This place is cool, and uh, we're here on New Year's Eve, uh, and it's full of people. It's been people here ever since we got here, so it's the place to be in Point Pleasant. That was a really fun museum, very, very in-depth, a lot of information, uh, newspaper articles, eyewitness accounts. Do I believe it? I don't know. It's fun. Why not? But yeah, definitely if you are in northern West Virginia, southern Ohio, come to Point Pleasant and check out the Mothman Museum because they are the world's only Mothman Museum. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. The guy just there giving the outro forgot. We're not done. We're now going to go to... The old TNT factory, if we can find one. Hint, we found one. Um, and check it out. Let's go. Uh, we are out here at one of the last uh, TNT domes. There used to be TNT factories everywhere out here. Um, in the 60s, one of the first sightings of the Mothman was out here. Uh, kids would come out here, kind of a makeout spot. One night, they heard a loud screeching noise, saw bright red eyes. 
jumped into the car and took off and said that whatever it was flew after them. Uh, I was spotted out here several times. Not much out here now anymore. Oh, there's a shooting range nearby. Creepy. Is there a Mothman in there? No. Well, something might be. So out here somewhere is one where... Ooh, take two. Out here somewhere is where one of the first sightings of the Mothman took place. Wasn't that great? I told you we'd find one. Well, now back to our regularly scheduled outro. Please again, subscribe, like, comment, hit that bell, all that stuff you're supposed to do. Uh, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we see where the road takes us. Bye-bye.